to another episode of Let's Play Warsong. My name is Zuljin, and we just finished up on Scenario 4, moving into the prologue of Scenario 5, Army of the Empire. Joining the reinforcements from Salras, Garrett finally begins his march into Balcha. Win condition is defeating the enemy's leader, Lance. Lose the death of Garrett. Now, the enemy leader has a name. Uh, last time they had a name too, so, well, that was on Scenario 3, Malvis. So these guys are usually pretty strong when it's a named uh, leader like that. Um, Garrett is going to get full archers because there's a lot of knights that we're going to fight in this scenario, which means horsemen. So that shouldn't be a problem at all. Maldrov, I'm going to give him two single horsemen, which actually I don't even think I need to do that with Baldrov. Let's see. Yeah, I don't even think I need to do that with Baldrov. He should be fine. Mina's only it, only group that she can get is Guardsmen at this point, which I don't think we have any monsters to fight this scenario, so it might not be the hardest thing in the world for her to die, but we need something for her. Sabra is going to get soldiers. That's all she can get. We need to start getting her some experience. She plays a very important role later on. Thorn needs to get some soldiers as well to get him some experience. This is going to be a complicated scenario, guys. What I want to do mostly is make sure that these guys get enough experience. Sabra, I'm going to give her the greatsword. And I'm going to give the cross to Thorn. Well, actually, defense-wise, I probably should give Mina the cross because her guardsmen just aren't soldiers. And I think that's going to do it, guys. Let's go ahead and start the scenario. Now, the layout is going to be a little strange because we can't really tell who's who, all right, as far as who's where the enemies are going to be placed. But I kind of have some idea of this. So what typically happens is we're going to have knights and archers that come up from the right side, uh, knights and soldiers that come from the left and the center. And since archers work better on cavalry, we're definitely going to want to put Garrett in the limelight for those. Baldrov really is um, no biggie. We're going to go ahead and put Baldrov right here. And we're going to make Sabra come right here. And Mina is going to be... I guess Mina can go up the middle. I think that would probably be the best thing. Um, She's going to actually back up Thorn. I'll put Thorn right of the middle there. And we'll let the, the placement happen. Enemy is approaching. All troops in position at once. Yes, sir. The remaining troops of Balcha, I'll get you all. Yeah, you will, huh? If we can get through here, the castle of Balcha should be right in front of us. I'm sure there will be enemy... I'm sure the enemy will be here to ambush us. We can't retreat now. Everyone stay close and try not to get hurt. That's the plan. Okay, so like I was kind of explaining before, Garrett with archers are just going to maul through these guys. I mean, oh, it's going to be ugly, ugly, ugly. And is going to be right even on there. If the next unit that he'll probably hit is these guys. So we're going to go ahead and go up the middle with Thorn. And Thorn are probably going to face these troops first of all. Now there's a fighter that's leading these guys, so Thorn should have the best chance against these than anybody. This is going to be a little tricky. Sabra, with the backup of Baldrov, is going to have the third commander, which is Knight, and that's going to be ugly. I mean, really ugly. Um, it's going to be pretty interesting. I think I'm going to back up Thorn with Mina because she's a healer, and also that her guardsmen can get some licks here and there. Um, so without further ado, let's go ahead and start moving. We're going to go ahead and get Garrett's command to defense and move him right up here. Thorn is going to move straight up and his command as well is going to be defense. I like defense because it's a tight group formation and we're going to go ahead and make hers defense as well. Sabra is going to move up as well, and it's going to be real important that we keep the high ground, you guys, and these guys move extremely fast. So what I think I'm going to do is take refuge in these mountains here, but we'll see how far we can go first, 
and Maldrov is just going to back her up right here. And I think that's good, guys. Let me go ahead and change Saber's command to defense. And everybody is set, I believe. Let's just check one more time. Yeah, everybody set to defense. Okay. Now we let everybody auto move. Like I said, the right side of the map, you guys, y'all should be entertained with that. Uh, Garrett is going to do some serious romping. I mean, it's going to be like the slimes uh, with the, uh, the guardsmen with the fire. <laughs> I mean, it's just going to be a bloodbath. It's going to be a good one, though. It's going to be in our favor. This is the first time we get to use archers, too, which is pretty cool. Face. Yep, they're coming straight down to their death. <laughs> their movement's gonna be pretty restricted in this terrain, too. And these guys move incredibly fast on these paths. Their terrain bonuses are crap, though. Attacking them on that water would be nice because they get absolutely nothing in that water either. These orchards are going to back up these horsemen, which is good. That'll be evenly matched for Garrett. Actually, not evenly. It's a, it's a lord that I'm going to be fighting. That won't be too bad, I don't believe. And he's a fighter. So if Thorn gets to attack him, that's going to be good stuff. Thorn will be able to gain uh, quite a bit of experience. And this is Lance. Lance is probably the strong. He's a level 7 knight. And level bonuses don't do anything numerically, guys, but there are quite a few hidden bonuses with them. For instance, if a level 7 knight goes up against a level 1 knight, the level 7 will always fare better. I don't know if it's a luck stat or something that's hidden within the game mechanics, but it's, it's a well-known fact that that's how it works. Okay. So Thorn is going to move deeper into the thick of it. And it's very important, sometimes their movement gets restricted, these guys. So what you want to make sure is that they don't fall too far behind. Sometimes you only have to make a partial move. Mean is going to go up here. And let's see. It looks like we'll be able to hold at this Maybe if I move right here, they're going to come into these mountains. Let's see. We might stand a good chance over here, you guys. I think I'm going to start heading in that direction here. I think that would be the better ground placement. Valdrov's going to move up. And I think that's everybody. Let's go ahead and let the enemy... Well, we'll finish our auto moves and then the enemy will move again. behind like that, that happens. Cards are moving in place. Now Garrett's troops. And let's see. Oh yeah. <laughs> this is about to get crazy. last group of knights. They're gonna get real, real slow real, real soon. Yep, 
These guys are coming down like they want to go attack Sabro. Hmm. Lance is coming down like Garrett's going to be all in the way too. And Mina might have to come back around here and, um, and back Garrett up. Attack the enemy's commander. The troops will be disorganized without someone to lead them. No, we don't want to do that, Garrett. That's bad advice. It's good advice if you're in trouble, but it's bad advice if you need experience like we do. So, let's see where we're at here. Yeah, these guys are... Maybe we should just come up the, uh, the middle here to cut them off. It's probably a better course of action. Um, meaning... Yeah, that's some serious... <laughs> that's a lot of troops for Garrett and him to take. Even though these guys are going to be like pudding. These guys maybe too. I don't know. I'm starting to think maybe Mina should go... Valdrov can back them up. Yeah, let's take Mina to, down to the right. Kind of redundant, you guys, but it's better that I do it like this than, than be caught with my pants down. And Thorn is going to continue. Thorn's just going to move right here and back Sabra up, I believe. And I think the best course of action would be to get Sabra in these mountains here. This is where it's going to get fun, you guys. Very, very fun. Let's go ahead and see if we can take hold in some of these mountains here. Oh, yeah. Beautiful. We're going to move, but we're not going to attack. Yeah, this is a really, really good spot. That's fortified right there. Let them come. Okay, and everybody else on this side has moved. We are good. We'll finish some auto moving. I should have changed Saber to manual. this. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Silly boy. Watch this. This is horrible. Oh, it's not that bad. This is going to be ugly because they don't have any terrain advantage. I got a 70% attack in increase when they come at me like that. Watch. 70%, 40%. Yeah, that's great stats, man. Especially when they're adjacent to Garrett like that and I just heal. <laughs> and these guys are going to continue to come in. out of range. Oh, these fighters, these archers are going to come in. This won't be as bad, I don't think. Actually, <laughs> it's pretty bad. <laughs> wow. Yeah, let's do that again. Man. <laughs> Garrett's going to level good right here. <laughs> really good. It's like Saber's going to be taking on two groups at once. This might be pretty ugly. Valdrov might have to kill a few units. And Lance is coming for me too. Mm. That's gonna be a hard deal when he comes in. 
All right, attention, be on guard at all times. Yes, sir. Understood. All right, so I guess we'll just start taking them out. Get everybody adjacent to me as well. Let's go ahead and move. Do a couple of easy ones first. I'm thinking I should. Yeah, I should move here. And let's go ahead and make sure all the troops that I can get healed will get healed. Oh, I took one. I spoiled, huh? Dang, killed one troop. <laughs> Alright. That's not all the horsemen yet. Let's go ahead and bring this tin up for some fun. Oh, missed one. Get off me, man. Let's bring this guy up. Archers. Wow, just one left. Can I do? Nope. Can't make it. What I can do, though, is. Mm, and I already moved to make sure those guys got healed. Maybe I can make it worth my while right here. Not really, huh? Let's see. There'll be a 7 and a 5 that I heal this way, and a 6 and a 7 this way. Yeah, let's go ahead and move here. And, okay, that's good for them. Mina. Actually, I'm starting to think. I should go back these guys up anyway, and Mina will move faster on land. I really don't think she'll make it to Garrett in time. That's a 4-4 trick. Um, let's see here. Let's move back one more set of spaces here. Actually, let's do this. I think I should be able to hurt these guys because they're so far out of range. Wow. They're out of range too, guys. This is gonna be ugly. I gotta try though. Of course, I was on water too. Do it. Good job. You got a little bit of XP. Okay. Yeah, this might be kinda ugly. Maybe Sabro will get some, some good attacks on these guys right here. I can only hope. Stay in the mountains and try to keep terrain advantage and let Baldrolf take some damage too. Alright, and Thorn, let's continue. Can he even move through that stuff? Yeah, he can. It's just, it's thick. Okay. Mina already moved, Garrett's done, finish the auto move. Now to see what happens through the enemy phase. Ah, this is gonna be fun. Alright, they're in. They are in. This is gonna be ugly. Ooh. Yeah, I didn't want to see that at all. Uh oh. This ain't good. Yeah, that was 
was like a freebie, huh? Baldrop's gonna have to do some serious weakening to these guys. Okay, we can do this. Uh, almost. A lot nicer than it was against those knights. is just kind of shuffling. Wow, not much offense on the Garrett team. That's okay by me. Let's go ahead and get rid of a few of these guys. This way here. Thorn. I'm coming, Sabre. Sit tight. Alright, I gotta give her some relief. Gotta give her some relief. Because she is not going to be able to take advantage of experience of these guys because she's just not gonna do any damage. Nice if we can get her a couple levels in this round, but it's not gonna be easy. Let's see. What happens when we do this? Very good. Good job, Sabra. Good job. Let's go ahead and have that unit take care of those. Level five. Good stuff. I'll just give her another line of defense. Let's make it manual, huh? Yeah, that'll be the best way. That way they don't move. And let's make sure these guys are moving up as much as possible. All Sabres gotta do is survive a little while longer. That's it. I think we are good. I think we moved everybody. Yep. Alright, intimate phase time. Wow. Nice 
nice assault. Nice, nice, nice. Garrett's holding up really, really good. Which I knew he'd do fantastic right there against those unit types. This is gonna be ugly. Wow. It'd be nice if they would have left this one. And, yep. Oh, they're not attacking Sabre. Good. Good, that Sabre can go for that weak one. One left. Nope. Man, they just cleaning house right now. Drop took one hit. I'm very glad we gave Saber that uh, that sword though. We should get damaged these guys. Oh, that guy attacked us? What a retard. Yeah, we holding up really, really good right here. Day long, baby. Lost that one. Finally, one unit goes down. <laughs> uh oh, that ain't no good. That's Lance's boys. Looks like he's getting up in the mix now. Yep. Level 7. We're still higher than him though. Alright. Well, we made it this far. Not bad. Okay. Where is Thorn? How close are you, Thorn? Get in here, dude. Get in. Still can't get that for in. One more turn. It's tough moving through these mountains. Really tough. he can go. Alright. So Sabre can probably safely eliminate this unit. Yep. And I'm thinking Valdrov can't move there. We probably need to just protect at this point. Go ahead and knock these guys out. Or knock them low at least. Nope, knock them out. <laughs> Just eliminate one threat. He hadn't got any action yet this game, so that's okay, I guess. I wish I could make it to this guy right here, but... Um, I'm gonna go ahead and stay put. Because anybody that attacks me is gonna have to be on water, which has no terrain advantage, and I have 30. So it'll buy me one more round, and then my boy will be here. Let's see where Mina's at. Come on, Mina. And I think that's it. No, not. It's not. It's not. Garrett. Garrett needs to treat. And now we need to start moving some guys in here. I think I can go ahead and attack these guys. Couldn't kill all of them, but... And these guys are gonna move here. Actually, let's do this. And what we got right here? We got some 
archers. Let's see, how many knights this is? Yeah, that's the fourth command. Lance. Fourth. A few more. Let's go ahead and move these guys in. Keep these stay put as well. I think we are good right here. And I think everybody else moved too, right? Right. Okay. Let's finish the auto move. too offensive in that bottom corner anymore, are they? <laughs> Ouch. Man. Sabre is exposed now, but we eliminated a lot of their troops thanks to Baldroff. And a couple of key opportunities with Sabre. Y'all silly. I can keep doing that if y'all want. See how this goes down. She's so weak, man. <laughs> she is so weak. And it's some experience, though. We got it. I imagine that we will die shortly, though. No? It's good. Lance is moving in a little bit further. Doing some rearranging. Every arrow counted. That's all I can ask for. Every single arrow found a target. Yeah, Garrett, I'm not worried about it at all. Turn 7. Not bad. Got a little bit of healing going on. Let's assess the situation. Garrett's pretty good right here. We're going to probably finish up these units within the next couple turns. Here, Mina is going to be... All in their business in a round or so, guys. That means these guys will probably die. They're not going to be able to, to do much. Thorn is also going to be on them, so uh, Saber should be able to survive. It might be kind of tough if they rush her, but all in all, I think we're going to be pretty safe because only these two guys are going to heal if if I even let them. I'll probably bring Saber to attack them out and get off my high horse here this hill. Um, other than that, guys, we should be good. So we'll have to do this next episode. Thank y'all so much for watching. This is Zuljin signing off. Have a good one. Oh.